Hey guys, it's Ecoasi Timur again and welcome back to my channel. So thank you very much for joining. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm going to be continuing Magic Leap videos. We're going to be looking at how we can push our Unity game to the Magic Leap device. I haven't done that yet. We've been pushing to the simulator and that's been great. We can troubleshoot it pretty quickly. We can debug our games pretty quickly. But I think it's time for us to actually push it to the device. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to walk you through that process in this video and by the end of this video you should have your game in the Magic Leap device. So let's jump into it. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is create a certificate. I did this in a previous video but my certificate was revoked. I actually revoked it to show somebody how to do that through the portal. So in this session I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new one and the reason why I want to create a new one not only because I revoked it but I think it's really important for people to know that. So if you go to creators.magicleap.com and then go into your dashboard and then certificates, you're going to be able to see the certificate screen. I'm going to just click on add new. Then I'm going to give it a certificate label. I'm just going to call it initial development, generate. And this is going to generate an S, uh, a CSR file. Download the private key, which it just did. And also generate a certificate. Perfect. This one is the old one which I, I can now probably remove. I'm just going to open the private key and extract the private key. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a directory that I am use I use for my games. So I'm going to go to the more games, Magic Leap, certs. And these were the old ones, so let's just remove those. I'm going to open up the private key, private key folder, drop in the private key certificate. Well, actually, this is just the private key. The certificate is going to be the next part. Then once this is done, so if you hit refresh, the certificate is probably already generated. So now we just need to download it. And this is what's actually going to download the cert. So now that we have the cert, I'm going to drag the cert to that same location. The reason why I picked this location is because this is the location that I'm telling my Unity game to look for. So now if I open Unity and we look at what I so if we go to player settings, if you don't have this open, just go to file. So file, build settings, and then player settings. And if we go to publishing settings, if this is not expanded already, just expand it. Then it says right here, Magic Leap Certificate, and then it tells you to specify the location. So this is the location that we're going to choose. If we, if we hit the, the that, that, that it's going to ask you, okay, where do you want to put it? So that's the location that I chose, and I chose the cert. So it's going to look for the private key in that same location and then everything else should be just as it is. Then the other thing that I want to do is you can also change the name of the company. So I'm going to just change the name of my company and say, okay, this is Dilmer's Dilmer Games LLC. And then because my game is the procedural game, you can I could change that right now. For now, I can, I can just leave it as Hello Cube and I might create another project with, which is going to be a clean project. This one is just the Hello Hello Cube project that we did last time, and I just added the procedural level generator that I created just for testing purposes. But in the future, I'm going to create a new project and then do it the clean way. So once you have that, then the other thing that you need to do is once you go to build settings, you have to make sure that you have the current scene that you're working on selected. If you don't have these, just click on Add Open Scenes. Then select, of course, select the Lumin OS because that's what we're going to be deploying to. Then select sign package because we want to sign the package. If you wanted to attach to the debugger, you could choose that option. I don't need to debug anything right now. And then, like I said on a previous video, make sure that you select the Lumin SDK location. My location happened to be this one. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna select any of the other options, but if you want to, you know, basically do a development build, you could do a development build. I'm not gonna do that in this session. We'll do that in a future video. So when that's all done, all you have to do is just click on build and run. Then you need to select the location where you want to generate the build. And if you hit save, then it's going to tell you, of course, I did a, I did a build previously to make sure that this was going to work. And in my case, I'm going to do replace. In your case, you shouldn't see this prompt because it's going to be a brand new build. Then once you do that, what's going to happen is Unity is going to start packaging the game and the scenes, and it's going to create a, an executable basically an executable that is compatible with the Magic Leap and then it's going to use the Lumin SDK tools to push the game to the device. So on the device you want to make sure that you're wearing the device and while you're wearing the device it's going to ask you if you want to install 
basically it's gonna give you a warning and you're just gonna say yes, install the certificate. And once you say yes, it's gonna do some validation and if everything works, you should see your new, in my case, my new Hello Cube app showing on the, basically on the main menu. So let's jump into the, basically the augmented reality world and let's see this game running. All right guys, so let me show you the application that I have running in the Magic Leap. This is, it's called Hello Cube C right now because I, I had to try multiple times until I got all the settings correct. But if I press it and open it up, we should be seeing the Unity development build. And looks like it's coming up here. And let's just give it a few seconds. Oh, it looks like it's already already open and running. So you can see cubes are on the on the very top. I can also see a big structure. And, and this structure is the buildings that I'm going to be generating. And they're actually generated procedurally. There's just some things that are not quite right, like the, the antennas still need some, the materials that I'm using are using the lightweight render pipeline. So, but I'm going to have to, I'll have to up, upgrade some of those, but it's really cool because I can, let's see if we can go into the, oh yeah, we can go into the structure and look at the structure. That's crazy. And look at everything. It looks like, oops, looks like we're still, we have a little issue here, but let me, I think I, I think the room might be too too dark. Let me just turn one of the lights on. There we go. And awesome. So we can see we can see almost everything here. Cool. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be giving you more details and I'll do another video where what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map the controller to the events that are gonna trigger the building to regenerate so we can see some variations of buildings. So that's everything. Thank you very much.